so good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss on one of the interesting topic which is required for support it is not only for it support but also if you are working in manufacturing industry or if you are working in healthcare industry also we require to do root cause analysis that is rca analysis so in this video i would like to give you some uh, first what exactly the root cause analysis means I would like to give you some industry examples of root cause analysis and if you want interview questions for application support desktop support or technical support in pdf format at free of cost please subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me mail on complex at gmail.com which you can see on the screen so let's get started don't skip this video it is very interesting video and you will get to know end to end about what exactly the root cause analysis means so in this video we will start with root cause introduction what is rca and what uh, what is its introduction then steps to conduct the root cause analysis and we can give you some industry specific examples i would like to showcase you some it related root cause analysis examples as well on jira so watch this video till end don't skip it so introduction to root cause analysis so what exactly is the root cause analysis root cause analysis is a systematic approach which is used to identify the underlying causes of issues means if you are having any issues why that issue has occurred to do that detail level analysis so that we can prevent that issues in near future we require to do the root cause analysis that is called as rca and this is definition of rca rca is systematic approach used to identify underlying causes of issues or problems to prevent their recurrence we are just trying to avoid the recurring issues we are having a lot of recurring issues so we require to avoid that recurring issues so to avoid that we require to do rca importance of rca rca is crucial for enhancing problem solving capabilities it will definitely enhance the problem solving capabilities if you have the steps ready for that issue which is recurring issue then your problem solving capability will always improve improving processes it will improve the process it is direct impacting the process improvement and minimal losses by addressing the root cause problem rather than just symptoms history of root cause analysis the concept of rca has evolved from early quality control methods okay it's not th that time the it is it sector is not there at all okay in 1950 in quality control methods we have applied first time root cause analysis mainly in manufacturing and healthcare industries and we have implemented that in it industry as well okay so this is history about root cause analysis you might have heard about some root cause analysis methodologies first is 5y technique so 5y technique involves repeatedly asking why to drill down into root cause of the problem so there are multiple stakeholders involved right so every stakeholder's opinion might be different so you require to ask why question five times okay so that we can drill down that root cause of the problem okay example for the same i would like to give you example for server down issue first in first meeting you can ask uh, the application team why the server has down application team will tell you that the server uh, is operating from the third party system just like cisco or any other companies then you can ask that third party system then third party system will go uh, go uh, go or drill uh, drill down to the cause of the problem right so due to the maintenance activity or it should be due to the hardware failure so this this technique is called as 5i technique mainly this is the key technique which is used in it industry okay second is fishbone diagram it is also known as ishikawa diagram okay ishikawa is one of the scientists from japan he has invented this fishbone diagram uh, where you can create a cause and effect uh, effect diagram so i would like to add that diagram if i can okay in this video 
then third technique is failure mode effect analysis method so fmea is a structured approach for identifying potential failures in the process if there is issue in the process then you require to find out with failure mode effect analysis right so what we require to do so you require to analyze the product you require to analyze the potential effect to prioritize the action and mitigate the risk in the process or product okay second steps in conducting rca what are the steps first is the problem statement problem statement is nothing but a statement which will give you the clear and concise idea about what exactly the problem is and what impact has happened due to that problem okay if server is down the application is down uh, was down is if server was down application was down for some amount of time let's say 30 minutes of time so the problem statement is too much clear that which server is down was down and uh, and what action we have implemented and uh, implemented from stakeholder side and how much time the application was also down so you require to write all these uh, problem statement very clearly then gathering relevant data from various sources to understand the scope and nature of the problem uh, in the same example, you require to gather the data from server team, gather the data from application team, what logs they have collected, need to analyze all the things. And that data collection is more more important in identifying the problem and doing the root cause analysis. And stakeholder involvement, required to involve all the stakeholders. There are third party teams, there is application team, database team, testing team all kind of stakeholders you require to involve need to check their opinion their understanding about the problem and then ne uh, you need to prepare the root cause analysis for that specified problem. second step oh, sorry Second step, analyzing the problem. Analyzing the problem is having two steps. First is identify the root cause with using structured techniques such as 5i technique or fishbone diagram. And verification of root cause. You require to validate the identify root cause through evidences. You should have to have that evidences. If server is down for 45 minutes, you should have to have that logs ready that server is down for 45 minutes and due to that application is down for 45 minutes okay to confirm their accuracy before proceeding with the solution development and implementation then i uh, would like to give you some industry specific uh, root cause analysis examples so first is about manufacturing industry but I'm sure that uh, in IT also you are dealing with the manufacturing industry customers, healthcare industry customers. So the problems are similar. Okay, so we will discuss that theoretically here. And then I would like to showcase you the example in Jira. First, RCA quality control issues. Let's say there is RCA, uh, you require to complete the RCA in quality control. Root cause analysis helps to identify the sources, defects and inefficiencies, enhancing the product quality and reducing the waste by addressing underlying the problems in manufacturing process. Okay. Uh, just like that, if equipment, are fa equipment failure is one of the issue, you require to do the RCA. Okay. Same for healthcare industry, RCA in patient safety incident. Let's say some incident has happened related to patient safety okay it's uh, let's say it is a software issue and uh, the whatever the medication names for diseases are not aligned properly so that is directly related to safety incidents so what you require to do in that case uh, in that rca uh, need to co connect with the it team as well why that uh, allocation is not proper as per disease wise for the medicines okay so that is a procedural failure or 
what kind of failure and what has impact okay need to write all those details improving the patient safety and reducing the likelihood of future incidents okay or else there are uh, incidents related to process okay so these are some uh, real life industry examples one is manufacturing industry one is healthcare industry but i would like to give you the uh, uh, the it example okay so would like to open jira in jira i have created one example there are multiple examples so we can check for this example okay so let's say you are working with one of the company and you are getting the intermittent slowness in user interface issue so if you can check the description of this issue in peak hours users is users are experiencing the slowness issue it so the application is still functional but delays in loading key components create a poor user experience the user experience is not good so key thing you require to consider in the it industry is user experience okay so its urgency is high and impact is significant and very large right so how to do the root cause analysis let's say developer has developed that resolve that issue they have uh, just uh, 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 visited the complex SQL queries and uh, applied all uh, all uh, performance tuning methods to improve that queries. So what is the cause? First, in root cause analysis, you require to identify the clause very clearly. So optimal database queries cause a, causing slow page load during peak traffic. There might be some peak traffic hours for every application, most of the applications, right? So if suboptimal queries are running slow the result might be the database is running slow uh, sorry application will run slow so second step you need to write the detail performance issues was traced to several complex queries were being uh, executed during the page load queries were not optimized okay lack of indexing is there lack of partitioning is there and the load on the database increase more user accessed application during peak hours okay so these are the details which are much more required by all the stakeholders okay and why that issue has happened if you can see i have asked the question five times to the stakeholders and this is first time question answer second time third time question answer fourth time and fifth time so this is proper root cause analysis for the database slowness or intermittent slowness issue for user interface just like this you need to do the root cause analysis for multiple examples i would like to give you another small example critical data loss uh, so many times we are uh, we are facing the critical data loss issue okay if you are working in the financial institutes or uh, if your client is the big banks then it is very very clear, critical to uh, keep the data proper right so some data loss has happened its priority urgency is very critical and impact is extensive very high okay so if you can see the description a bad job processes critical finance data runs into the error resulting to loss of key transaction data the transaction data has lost okay as a result finance team is unable to generate the reports and some transactions are not recorded correctly okay so in root cause analysis what we have written cause of the issue the cause of the issue is bug in batch processing job that causes a data to be overwritten issue okay we have asked the high questions and come to the de details and drilled out these details. The issue is stemmed from the recent code that is incorrectly handled age class age cases in transaction validation process. The change was intended to optimize the handling duplicate transaction, but coding error led to the deletion of the data during the validation. It is a coding error, proper coding error from the developer. Error was not caught during testing because 
test environment did, uh, did not stimulate the volume of the data present in the production so here my questions uh, was uh, why the issue has occurred then why testing team has not tested the data that might be my third uh, question right and resolution steps we have written so we took the backup we have restored the data faulty code has identified and redeployed on production additional test cases were created to cover edge uh, cases which we have missed previously and batch job was enhanced to include the safeguards to prevent data deletion and corruption in future so this is proper root cause analysis for one of the it example okay the cause is there details are there and resolution steps are there right so this is about detailed root cause analysis okay so hope you like this video if you okay hope you uh, hope you like this video understanding root cause analysis with the proper examples if you like this video kindly subscribe the channel click on bell icon if you want more interview questions for application support desktop support or technical support related please subscribe the channel click on bell icon send me mail on complex at gmail.com you will get all the interview questions at free of cost just the condition is to subscribe the channel click on bell icon thanks for watching this video